hello guys welcome 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 empress gtv here and guys i'm gonna get straight into it um i have so many requests people ask me this is uh, the second american basically i think this is typically american and it's spread across the world and this is meatloaf folks this is meatloaf and again i have to put it down to the african-american sam because these are all called poor men poor men dishes okay so and what it entails is um ground beef and you know and it has to be for for black folks folks because only black people could take ground beef and make it into something spectacular you know today it's all over the world and in canada everywhere um you have meatloaf okay so i'm using basically um some ground chicken uh, mixed with turkey you know and i keep it on um that side so basically folks this should not be a poor man that uh, um because it's not cheap to make folks okay so most of the ingredients are olive oil chopped onion minced garlic um dry thyme. you know you have your, your herbs and thyme and um you're gonna have some milk i'm using coconut milk instead um you have green onions green um bell peppers shredded carrot um half a cup of ketchup one egg uh quarter cup of um fresh parsley um dijon mustard salt and um you're gonna and you know your ground meat so i'm using about a pound of uh a pound and a half of ground turkey and, and chicken and what i do folks i buy the turkey and the chicken and i ground it up myself okay because i i got my friend um meat meat grinder and you know i don't do a lot of stuff with mince but this way i find i have control over it it's washed properly um with lime and whatever and then i just um ground it up okay so basically right now um we are gonna cook up um we're gonna saute some onions some celery and garlic together then i'm gonna add in um some the bell peppers because you can put the peppers and all of this in raw folks if you like but i find i did this dish a few times and what i find when you saute all the vegetables and add them to the ground meat it makes it more awesome yeah you know so this is it so i'm gonna saute i'm starting out with the onions right now i'm using an old onion and um using some green onion too um in it also uh, so right now what i'm sauteing is just some parsley and um green onions garlic and um some celery and you know so after that saute down a bit i'm gonna put the carrots in so i'm gonna saute everything folks um and just add to the ground beef okay and here to what picking it up we're gonna use um i'm using some bread some soft some bread and then i add the recipe call for milk but i'm using my coconut milk so i put a quarter cup of coconut milk inside the bread here um so um that's going to be added to the ground beef that's what's going to hold it together you can also use oats or um you know people use bread crumbs or whatever but i what i had right now and it's the bread so yeah i just soften up the bread in there and i'll put all of this in the description folks so right now we're just sauteing down the onions and i'm gonna add the some people shred the um the carrots but i like to um dice my carrots you know so this is just being um sauteed down right now okay so then everything is going to be added to um, the ground meat I get, once I take that out first, I'm going to have it cool down first, folks, before I add it to the ground meat. Otherwise, the meat is going to start cooking the corn um, farm. The scent from this folks is so much. So, in that sense, I'm going to add um, all my herbs right now to that. I'm going to add some basil, about a teaspoon of basil. And I'm using some of my own herbs. Um, so I list all of the herbs. When I said herb, folks, choose the herbs that you want to do in it, okay? It doesn't, nothing is written in stone. And I'm using some of my favorite herbs. I use some fresh parsley um, in it, but the rest of it I'm just adding in dry one, some rosemary. Even a little bit of turmeric I'm going to add to. All spice, all of that, folks. You know, just add into it little bit of allspice because you know it's meat you're cooking basically folks and you want to um 
pot flavor. It's grounded, but it's still meat. So I'm using chicken and turkey, and these are free range um, chicken and turkey. But you can use, you know, I know the main ingredients for example is beef, but um, you know, these days um, everybody, you know, it, you, nothing is written in stone anymore, folks. Back in the day, um, it was just ground beef, okay? I'm gonna add a little bit of turmeric um, to cook in there. That should give it a, okay? The smell so far, folks, is, is so, so good. And I also have chopped um, garlic in that, so I'm gonna add garlic powder to the ground beef itself. Because in my recipe, you can never have too much garlic. And I'm gonna use some sage also, because sage is one of the best um, herbs for, um, and, a bit of, and a little bit of cumin, cumin. These are all good for cooking your um, cooking on me. So um, let me see if I find my sage. The sage is one of the best for, for when you're doing um, chicken or poultry. Let me see if I can find my sage. Also add some dry cilantro to it also. And you don't want to make a lot of water. Now I'm going to add all the bell peppers. Okay. And as I say, once this is done, I'm going to have it cool down. Then I add all of this to the ground beef. I'm trying to find my say That cumin smells so good, folks. Cumin smells so good. Ah, okay, here's the sage. I'm just gonna add a little bit of sage into it. Sage is one of the, the herbs that you use in your chicken and turkey and poultry. It's good. There are all those herb butter rather than folks that have so much, so much herb butter. most important thing is cooking the herbs. Okay, and I um, put the oven to um, be heated. And I'm gonna add, add, add about a quarter teaspoon of salt. Okay. And some cracked black pepper. And that's to taste how you like, you know, how spicy you like it. Uh, this is a spicy soup here. The, the smell, folks, is so awesome. We're going to kick it up on natural too. We're going to put a little bit of jerk seasoning in it. Yeah. Remember, we're doing it for the yard, folks. But, you know, in the, in the description, don't worry, I'm not going to put any of that. This is just optional for us. Because we love our, um, we love our pet, our, our eat. Okay. I just have some herbs and that's it. So, folks, what's going to happen now? Okay, a little bit of paprika also. And like I said, you can put in any herbs that you like to your, um, you know, to, to your stuff. Okay. Any herbs. That was the, um, oh, that was the turmeric. Wow, and I'm just going to add a little bit of um, spices. And at this point, you don't have to put no salt in the ground beef directly because all the salt will be coming from right from here, okay? So folks, this is it right here. And this is going to add to the ground beef. And folks, I'm just going to let it cool down and then come back and just finish up everything, okay? smells so awesome okay guys we're back and we're just gonna put everything together so right now we have um we're gonna add the bread and the milk into the ground beef okay that is what gonna hold it together and I, as i said i use um my coconut milk but you know um the recipe calls for whole milk but i love my coconut milk i do it with coconut milk and it came out so wonderful so it's it's and that's another l, l size right there you know 
that's the same way you decide to use um the ground chicken instead of ground beef but you can also get lean ground beef so folks so okay folks so all of this is going to be mixing in and i'm going to slowly add in the um the, um all the seasoning and everything is going to be incorporated in it and then we're gonna see so the bread is what all it together and also um you could use oats and you, you know a lot of people just use their stick to their um their bread crumbs okay but i had i just used the bread itself and i soaked it in um i soak it in the coconut milk all right i'm just incorporating everything in mix it up mix it up And this is going to be for a few people you know and the thing about um when you do this folks um the leftover you can make a sandwich um you know or just eat it like that and for this dish you know uh, the traditional is that you have it with your your potato and your peas and carrots you know that's the tradition for for it um north america tradition the peas and carrots and your mashed potato So we're just gonna for I'm doing it in a pirate dish folks um and just stick it in there I'm not gonna cover it and when it's almost done that's when we had some ketchup mix some ketchup with a little soya sauce and oyster sauce on top to give it a nice um glaze so you want all of this to be incorporated all around you want to get all that veggie all of that inside of it And it doesn't gonna be cooked for about a hour, uh, one hour. Okay, so. Oh, uh, folks, I forgot the egg. The egg is here, one egg. Oh, silly me. One egg you're gonna add in, and that also helps to hold it together. Okay, that's one egg. And I, like I said, everything is in it right now. So I'm just gonna put it in the dish and form it. Bring the dish over. And I'm just using a pirate's dish. And it's gonna be in the oven for, but I just um, grease it and it's gonna go in at um, it's chicken. So I'm gonna, it's gonna go in about at um, 350 to 400, um, okay? So I'm just gonna transfer ground beef into this and then shape it up and folks you can shape it up into a nice um and you know meat loaf is very popular um you when you go on to most restaurants and the menu and this is gonna shrink folks once it start cooking it's gonna shrink and any juice left in it um if you're gonna have your mashed potato and thing you just you and and this is so juicy folks you're not even gonna want gravy on it okay so I want to shape it up very good. So folks, what we're going to do now, we're going to edit for the oven at three, 400 degrees uh, because this chicken, and uh, so you want to get it um, a good eat and eat it so it cook properly, you know. It's chicken and turkey. And it's going to be this is gonna cook for an hour, folks. For one hour. And like I said, folks, it's gonna shrink. 
So folks, I'm gonna add it, add it to the oven. And when it's finished, I'll return and show you the final um, stuff, right? Okay, be right back. Hi guys. Just took it out of the oven. It's almost done, so we're gonna add on to it now. We're gonna wipe on the um, some ketchup and it's mix up with I mix mine with um some ketchup some oyster sauce and a little bit of um soya sauce okay and I also put some heat to it I put some of my famous jerk um Jamaican pickle pepper to it because we love it the heat so I'm gonna just put this on on it and then put it back in for about another 10 15 minutes because really it's uh, you know it's done it's most yeah so we're putting on this is the glaze on top of it okay so this is the ketchup and this is also my ketchup <laughs> you know and my pickle pepper homemade pickle pepper if i'm adding on here and i put a little bit of oyster sauce on it um with a little bit of um soya and the soya is um you know the good ones no msg in this one you can also find so, um, soya sauce with no MSG, folks. You just got to, you know, pay a little bit more. And that's it. So I'm putting on the ketchup on it now. I'll give it a last. And you see all that juice that we produce from it, folks? That's right there you can use if you're going to do it with the rice or you're going to do it with the potato or whatever. That's your um, stuff right there. That is always produced from the, the, thing, um, from the, the meat itself, you know, because it's cooking and it's releasing all of that moisture. Okay, so... I'm just putting this on and then leave it in there um, for another 15 minutes because it was it's been there for uh, about an hour now yeah so I like to let it you know this is ground meat um you wanna still have to cook properly so folks this is gonna just seal the sauce on top now then um afterward I take it out and when this is cold folks this make great um sandwich you know you for the next day and you, yes you know and like i say you can eat it in many different ways you can have your um rice and your, your meatloaf and your vegetable or but i know the famous one is your, your mashed potato and and most of the recipe i saw is mashed potato and um mixed vegetable along with your um along with that so folks when it come back 15 minutes it'll be all done okay See you in a bit. Okay, guys, the meatloaf is done. And here it is, folks. So what I did, folks, I just made um I made um some sweet potato, um mashed potato, but I use sweet potato and you know I keep it on a little more healthy. Okay, you know, sweet potato is very good for you. They, so that's what I did. I did some sweet potato and I did some um, carrots and um, peas so I'm trying to keep it close to what you know they would do in America America I've done it I will, uh, well you know it's a dish basically is um, they have the mashed potato and it's beans peas and carrots so folks here it is I'm gonna see if I can cut a slice of it it's moist and nice. Wanna get a see all that steam coming out, folks. This one was a bit on the wide side, you know. I should have make it more narrow, but so I'm gonna try and get it out now. Get out a slice. Folks, it tastes so nice. Try to get up more than one slice then. And this is mm. so folks I hope I get this piece out in one I'm trying maybe not it is so nice folks doesn't matter how it comes out it is so moist and nice mm. tastes so good And for folks to get a lot of sauce out from it, so this is a sweet potato here. I 
That's my sweet potato there I make early on. And I'm gonna add some everyday normal stuff, some peas and carrots, folks. And that's what most people have their um Normally it would be like the white potato, but you know folks, this sweet potato is so nice and this one is so nice also to make potato salad, you know, so give it a shot. And the colors from the, this sweet potato folks, it looks so good, so beautiful. So this is a piece here and you can never have too much peas. So it's sweet potato peas. And we have some sauce here from it also. I threw some off, so this is the sauce from it. I'm just going to put some, just like that. And you know, some people just eat it um, dry like that. But you know, I figure since you're going to have your sweet potato, you have a little sauce to have it with, okay? So, and folks, early on we did um, some hot water um, corn, corn bread and so you know what you just slip one right there yeah because um this is how you can one of the way you have your your corn your, your cornbread and that's why i did a video early on and both of those recipes from down south folks they because that's where all of that rigid originated um like i said um your um meatloaf that's like a start that's where it started out folks um down there you know and they said they call it a poor man poor man diet right <laughs> so that's your meatloaf there your hot corn hot water corn bread folks so and that's supposed to be the poor man diet folks but i'm telling you the stuff put in it folks isn't isn't poor man but if you want to get it done right you have to put some really um your herbs and vegetables and stuff in it so this is a meatloaf right here folks this is what it looks like yeah and this is one of the way you can have it some people can have it with a meatloaf and rice or like i said i want the sweet potato root so um that's it right there so you have um you um meatloaf and um sweet potato and a hot water cornbread um right there and folks um that is a down south meal and like i said today now today it's worldwide everybody does um Everybody does cornbread and not like this though. This still is a tradition from down south But the meatloaf is very popular all over the world today folks. It's like a yeah, I'm just gonna put in some um, Avocado and you know me I have a, and tomorrow when I go out I'm gonna load up. I'm on my last two and folks avocado is one of the best way to get your omega-3 um, fatty acid and that's um, the good fat right there. So you have a small one like this every day folks and it's very good okay so this is the meatloaf sweet mashed potato and hot water corn bread and some mixed vegetable and folks you don't get no better than that and that's this is the meatloaf there and that meatloaf will go for a few people that's a supper right there for at least you know six people folks you know and like I said, you can have it just like that. And tomorrow, now when it gets stale, put it in the fridge and just make a nice meatloaf sandwich. There you go. So it's a very versatile um, dish right here, folks. So folks, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And yes, I got to take um, my um, picture of that for my thumbnail. <laughs> um, so Marian Mello, big up yourself. Um, fire, big up yourself. Soji, if you can hear me, um, big up yourself um everybody have a very very good evening i think the sabbath is hot the evening almost over i'm just taking i like to take pictures of my thumbnails you know so folks um please like share and subscribe we get a nice picture and i hope where you are folks um it's dry so please stay dry Okay, I am, and I'm sending some um, love for the folks down in Florida, folks. Um, it's really, it is really, really bad down in Florida. Some places are washed out, you know. Folks, this is what I just want to come back and say to you guys. I was watching a part of Florida, okay. 
and this man have a house and he has um all these cars very expensive car the house must have worth about 10 million dollars and the cars collection that wash away was you know several millions and at the end of the day what i try to tell people folks at the end of the day all that matters is that you know he gets out alive that's good and right now people are running to look around for food and fresh clean food and fresh water and that's what i keep saying to people folks at the end of the day all these material stuff cannot save us cannot do anything so the most important thing that you need to do folks is plant some food florida is hot and you know plant some food and make sure you have access to clean water that is life right there folks food and water when i saw all the yeah rose wars uh Maserati or what you call it you have a collection of cars and all of them went out to sea along with the house folks so what did that tell you it doesn't the material stuff is nothing folks all that matter is how people live together good and you have is good access to food and water folks in the hand that's all that matter because that is life right there clean food and clean water folks that's it you know so i just want to send out condolence to the people in florida and my you know sincere sympathy to them a lot of people is homeless tonight down there so i hope they get the help from the government because they and you know i hope a lot of them are insured and um it's a sad thing folks it's very sad you know in canada too um out west um you know i'm not you know you know we have it bad up here but uh and you know the provinces out like newfoundland um nova scotia prince Edward island and we send out um you know condolence to those people too and um love and everything to all of them canada and florida okay folks so please have a good evening and pray for all those people okay peace